Hi there, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite little utility sites. It's called If This Then That, I-F-T-T-T, If This Then That, dot com. Anyway, um, when you first get to the site, have you, if you've not signed up, go ahead and click the Join button. Fill out the basic information and sign up. You'll get an email, verify your account, and once you do, go ahead and log in. And I'm going to sign in instead. All right, when you land on If This Then That, if you haven't set anything up, uh, you will have some channels that you can enter your information into. Um, I have set this up already for Craigslist, Dropbox, Mail, Evernote, Facebook. I've linked a few of my things, my sites to this that I really like. That's Weather Channel, WordPress, YouTube. Um, you can actually get more channels. There are uh, Blogger, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, different things, and you can tell if this and that to do something when it finds uh, some sort of result there, or in order to send something to some sort of result. Um, in in this case, I use the most, what I use is Craigslist to email. I also use RSS feed um, and Facebook as well. Facebook, I, I basic one set up that if somebody tags me in a Facebook picture, I get a text. It just set it up to, to test it out. Anyway, let's go back to the main page. And we're going to create a task. What we're going to, we're going to create a task right now um, that if a HP toner cartridge for my particular printer shows up, I want to get an email. If, it, if somebody lists one with the right information in it on Craigslist, I want to get an email. So that's what I'm going to set it up to do. So I'm going to go to Craigslist, and I'm going to search. That's the model number for the Cyan cartridge uh, for HP Toner for my particular printer. So I'm going to search it in my local Craigslist, and I've got no results. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture the URL up here. Copy that. I'm going to go to If This Then That dashboard, and I'm going to create a task. I could start here directly with the channel, but I want you to see the whole, the whole process. So create a task. If this meaning if on Craigslist a new post shows up from this search that I just did that's the URL I copied create a trigger then that what I what do I want to happen if a new post shows up with that result with a result for that and I want to get an email and so I've got set it, send me an email I'm gonna click that and the default for this is just the post title I want it to actually send me a HP toner on Craigslist and then the post title so that I know um, that's what's going to happen and I will get an email uh, as soon as somebody posts something within five minutes typically it makes it really easy to find things you want to buy on Craigslist and buy them before they're gone so then I'm going to create the action and then I'm going to give it a name toner on Craigslist this is so that I know later if I want to go back and delete it. I've actually already created this once um, and I was too long-winded in the video so I'm redoing it. Plus the video had all sorts of weird flashes. So. Create task. Now it's going to show me all my tasks then. That's why it's this cyan toner. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I have some other ones. Um, find Polish chicks. If somebody posts Polish chickens on Craigslist, I will get an email. Uh, if it's raining tomorrow, this goes out to Weather Underground or Weather something, um, I will get in an email uh, to my Gmail account. Uh, if the bulb company Vandershoot, uh, which is a local bulb distributor, has a sale, which they post on Craigslist, I'll get an email. And then I have several of free apps or free books are posted on Amazon or uh, Kindle or Kindle store and things, I get an email. And then any word, any job, any things in the job section that have WordPress in them, I get an email for that as well. Uh, without doing anything and I don't have to go monitor an RSS feed which is another popular way to get things from Craigslist but I get all sorts of different things from different uh, sites and they pop up within five minutes and I don't know if you know but RSS feeds aren't necessarily updated constantly you might not see an RSS feed update uh, until the following day or several hours later it depends on how the feed is published anyway so that's how you use if this then that it's a great tool give it a try